And that was the dumbest explanation I've probably ever said in my entire life. Hey guys, what's up? It's Maxwell Alexander here, and you are watching Makeup by Maxwell. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please do so right now. Now, there is a giveaway at the end of August for a brass ring, so you won't want to miss out on that, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, but to jump into today's video, obviously I am going to be doing this fabulous rainbow inspired look. Uh, I did this on Instagram a little while ago, and uh, you guys asked me to do a tutorial on it. So, here it is. Without further ado, this is my Rainbow Pride makeup tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Maxwell Alexander here, and of course you are watching Makeup by Maxwell. We're just going to jump into today's video. Um, as you can tell by the title, I am doing a rainbow inspired look. Um, you guys saw it on my Instagram page and I was requested to do it, so here we are. So the palette that I'm using today to be able to recreate this rainbow look that I did is the Smashbox Bold Palette. This palette is absolutely amazing. I have never quite seen a palette like it. Check out these colors. Like, they are absolutely amazing. I just cannot even with this palette. So I've already done the majority base of my makeup. The only thing that I haven't done is my lips. And I think we're gonna highlight some more because my highlight today is not as blinding as I want it to be. And if we're going like full out rainbow, girl, you know I need to sparkle. So we're gonna head right in. All right, so to make sure that these shadows really, really, really stand out, I'm actually going to take this Physician's Formula Bronze Booster and this white color up here in the top. I'm going to take that and I'm also going to put that all over the eye. It's also just going to give these shadows so much more oomph, I guess. Um, when you see it afterwards, you will understand what I mean. Now that our eyes are all white and sparkly and crazy looking, uh, we are going to jump in to the color. This lays down a really, really nice base. Not to mention the shimmer in it is really going to add to these pigments because these actually come out really, really matte. And because we're going for a very bold statement, I really, really wanted to add a little bit of shimmer in there. Uh, we're also going to be using a little bit of glitter at the very end. So, yeah, this look is going to be bomb. So the first shade that we're going to go in with is this beautiful red, and we're just going to put this right into our crease. We're actually going to try and create this really, really nice sunset moment, and then we're going to use these other three shades on the under part of our eye. Now we're going to go in with this orange shade here. Uh, we're gonna put that we're gonna mix that with this red and we're gonna bring it up to kind of create that moment And then we're gonna pop that yellow just over here in this nice little corner here We are going to go into this beautiful yellow color right here. 
and I just want to make sure the, the brush is fully coated and then tap some of that off because we don't want any fallout. And we're just putting that right into the corner. And this doesn't have to be clean or anything like that. This is supposed to be more of like a fun, just like out of this world kind of look. So you can do it however you so choose if you really want to keep those colors like perfect. You can kind of make this look your own by adding more color, using less. It's all up to you. And then we're just going to blend the shit out of this. Okay, so now that we have all this glorious sunsetty magic happening, now it is time to go in on the bottom and do the green blue and then the purple on the outside. So for that, we're going to need some smaller brushes. I'm going in with an e.l.f. concealer brush. I love using these brushes for getting these tiny little areas here. We're also going to be smoking out uh, the bottom of it as well, uh, just to make sure that everything is super, super blended and well put together. So let's get started. The first color in this I'm going to use for the bottom is this beautiful, beautiful green color. I have another green that I want to put over top of this. This one is a little bit too it has too much, I think it has too much blue in it, if I'm not mistaken. It's just very kind of like a minty green. It's not really going to give me the full effect of what I want. So we're just going to put this down as a base. My questions need your answer, give them to me now. Pain inside is way too much, just want to hold you and feel your Next I'm going to go in with my NYX Beauty Staple Palette. Now this palette has seen better days. As you can tell, it's kind of ratchet, but I bought it a long time ago. And it still works good to this day, but we're going to go in with this gorgeous, gorgeous green color right here. And we're just going to go over top of this green because I very much dislike the way that this green looks right now. And we're also going to use some of my setting spray. And we're just going to wet the brush with that. And then we are going to go into the eyeshadow. So now that we have that beautiful, vibrant green color down, we're going to go in with another, yes, that's right, I said it, another detail brush. I just need to find one that I can use here and figure out what I did with the bold palette, because it was here. I lose my stuff all the time, you guys. Like, it literally drives me crazy. Like, I just lose stuff. Where was I? Right in front of my face. <laughs> now we are going back in with the Smashbox Bold Palette. I am going to be using this beautiful, beautiful blue color here. And then we are going to do the purple in the corners. So let's get started. Using that same small detailing brush, we're also going to go into the purple because we're going to merge this blue and purple together anyways. So I wouldn't worry too much about switching the last brush. Just 
gonna go underneath the eye here, back and forth, just to blend out that bottom so that you don't have any harsh lines, but be careful not to blend too much because otherwise you'll just run all the colors together and we don't want that. We want each color to be represented on the eye. My questions need your answer, give them to me now. Pain inside is way too much. What's an eye look without a little glitter? So we're going in today with the Stila Diamond Dust Glitter. And I have used so much of this, it's like difficult to even get it out of its container at this point. But hopefully we can get some glitter going here. And there we are. So the glitter has been applied. I am living for it. It looks absolutely stunning. All right, so now we are on to eyeliner. Now for a look like this, I am going in with a black liner as I always do, but I just feel like this gives it so much more of a pop to your eye. I think this would be, is going to look absolutely stunning. So. We're going to go in with the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner, and this is going right into the waterline. Now that we have the black eyeliner done, now we're going to move on to mascara. Today I'm using the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. You can layer it so nicely. It just works absolute wonders. So we're going to get in and we're going to get these lashes coated. Okay, so now that we're done with the liner and the mascara, and we are looking at snatched girl, I'm like checking myself in the mirror and I'm like, mmm, mm-hmm, yes. Hello, pride. Hello, rainbow. Hello, LGBT community. Yes, girl. So now, of course, we've got to highlight this damn brow bone because, girl, these cheeks are like dull as hell and we need some highlighting in our life so that is our next step all right so now that we got these brows snatched again uh, now it is time to move on to the highlighting part of our day so now we're going to go in with uh, my all-time favorite highlighter this is the Stila uh, Heavensly Hue highlighter in Kitten. I absolutely love this highlighter. It is absolutely glorious. We're gonna set this putty with a powder highlighter afterwards. Now we're gonna go in with the Strobe of Genius uh, highlighting palette, or sorry, illuminating palette. Uh, this palette is absolutely incredible. As you can tell, it's been used, and I dropped it. And I busted one of the highlighters. I was so mad. So mad. But today we are going to go in with this beautiful pinkish shade right here. And we're just going to do a little over top of this. And it's just going to give it that extra. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scroll, yeah living for it okay and we are going to do the exact same thing to my cheeks because my cheeks are not highlighted enough and i highlighted them too early so um, the majority of the highlight that i did put on has now probably worn off so we're just gonna go back in there right like that yes oh damn oh my god we're going to go back in with the Strobe of Genius palette and dip right back into that same 
beautiful pink highlighter. But you can see me, pull me out of here. Feels like I'm drowning in this Cause you can see me in the shadows of my fear. Feels like I'm drowning. Hello. I'm a unicorn alien from like Planet Glamatron. Like, hi! Okay, guys, so now it is time for the lips. Pink is not a part of the rainbow, and I don't understand why pink is not part of the rainbow, because it's like one of my all time favorite colors. So, for this rainbow pride look today we are going to be going in with the superstay matte ink in the shade romantic it is this super hot pink and let's get to it do you guys see how pigmented this is like it's stunning so there you have it ladies and gentlemen this is the rainbow pride look that I will be supporting this pride that is for damn sure so if you guys like this tutorial if you want to see more of these please give this video a thumbs up it would be greatly greatly appreciated and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button for the ring giveaway at the end of August I am collaborating with uh, Cindy from Up Brass Jewelry to be giving away a one-of-a-kind brass ring. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for all of that. All of her info and all of my social media, my Facebook, my Instagram, and my Snapchat are all in the description below. And until I see you guys next time, peace, love, and hugs. Love you guys all. Mwah! I'm drowning.